I mean, as a team, we, we're really excited to, you know, get out there. And we know that we have a lot to do, you know, before we get out there. So we're going to come out here each and every day and, you know, work on the, the skills and the technique we need to work on, you know. So come September 1st, we're ready. Tavon, when did it click for you last season that you felt like you were – more of a complete player that he could contribute regularly for another day? Uh, you know, just as more opportunities came, you know, I felt more comfortable. I was able to, you know, get in the rhythm and uh, really understand what the offense was trying to do. And, you know, I, it was just a more comfortability and opportunity thing for me. And when I got my opportunity to help the team win, I knew that it was time for me to do it. Was there a time where you felt like you had a better understanding of what you needed to do? Was there a, a hurdle you had to maybe cross to, to get to that? Uh, I mean, just staying focused, staying in the moment, you know, uh, knowing that when the opportunity comes, that I have to be ready to, you know, help my team. And whether that's fourth quarter, first quarter, or start or not, I just knew every time I had an opportunity, I had to be there to help my team. And you were so dominant in the LSU game. Was was there, and, and it was like noticeable. I mean, you could you could see that you felt you were the best player on the football field that day. Was it that day, or did it happen at an earlier point during the season? I mean, I, I knew it with all the work I put in that I, I became a really good player, and I, I just every time I get a chance to go out there and showcase it, I want to be able to go out there and just show that I'm the best player on the field, the best linebacker in the country. So, you know, to have another opportunity against LSU, uh, you know, a great SEC school, I just wanted to be able to show that. You know, I could play at that level and one of the best. A little extra motivation against them? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was, it was it was great to get out there for a bowl game. You know, we really wanted to get that 10th win. So to go out there and contribute any way I can, it was, I wanted to do that. You looked like you felt you were going to make every tackle that day. Did you feel that way? Yeah, I mean, when I, I decided I wanted to go out there, you know, and, and put my best game on, you know, every chance I get, I want, I want to get better. So, you know, I put a lot of things behind me, and I was just focused on that game, focused on helping my team get that tip win. And if I had to make every tackle for us to win, I wanted to do it. Coach said yesterday, maybe somebody brought this up, I apologize, but he called you and Tranquil tackling machines. Um, is that what you are? You consider yourself that? Yeah, I mean, I consider myself a tackling machine. You know, when a running back has the ball, whoever has the ball, you know, I want to be the guy that goes and gets the ball down to get my chance, give my team a chance to win. So anyone in chess I, I get to make a tackle, I want to do it. What's the key to being a great tackler? Obviously, there's technique involved, but it's got to be, it's got to go beyond that. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll say first off, have an instinct. You know, you want to get yourself in a good position. You know, to make to make a play on the ball carrier and um, just being aggressive and, and being violent. And everything else will come. Would you?